When you fly to Australia and you're not a citizen, you pass through a variety of screenings to confirm who you are and whether you have a valid visa. After landing in Australia, you're only immigration cleared once you've passed through even more checks and you've left the airport entirely. But what if the person seeking protection hasn't left the airport? They may encounter a policy called entry screening. So um, when we arrived at the airport, we uh, passed the immigration officer almost like 20 meters away from the airport gates uh, to get out of the terminal. And uh, custom officers comes to us and directs us over to the customs tables. I was like, oh wait, this is kind of cool. I've seen this place on Border Force, which we used to watch all the time in Saudi before ever thinking we would ever come to Australia. And I made sure that we really filled out the landing cards properly because apparently you get fined and stuff if you bring like an apple from abroad. You know, they check our bags, they check my bag, they check his bag. They ask us, why are you here? I said, oh, well, you go see the Opera House. I mean, we came here legally with valid visas. We had permission to be in the country. They took our phones to a little office. Uh, he sat in that office for like 15, 20 minutes, I think, going through our phones. They said, uh, we have reason to believe that you're seeking asylum. Will you be doing that? And I said, at the end, I said, yeah, we will be. You know, that's the plan. They took us to separate rooms. And an ABF woman came in. She started asking, you know, why I'm seeking asylum. So I told her the whole story about having issues uh, being a reporter in Saudi Arabia, um, his family coming after us, um, the government outing us uh, to, to his family, and I explained everything without getting into all the details. And I got concerned because I, I didn't know what was happening. Entry screening isn't found anywhere in Australia's migration legislation, yet it operates to identify people who may intend to make a protection claim. Rather than prioritizing humanitarian principles, entry screening focuses first on canceling the person's visa. Once someone's visa is canceled, they're put in a very precarious position and face the threat of being sent back to a country where they fear serious harm. But only after canceling the visa will officials pre-screen someone's claim to decide if they should be allowed to apply for temporary protection. If screened in, the person may apply for temporary, but not permanent protection. If screened out, they're not allowed to lodge a valid protection application and they may be removed from Australia without any form of review. Either way, people are not given time to substantiate their claim with evidence, nor are they told that they may seek legal advice. They can be separated from their family or travel companions, isolated from their phones and computers, and put in detention simply for seeking Australia's protection. By that point, it had been like three hours in the interview room. At the end of it, she tells me, well, you've got 15 minutes to think of a reason why we shouldn't cancel your visa. She uh, came back 15 minutes later and told me that, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and effectively cancel your visas. And now that we've canceled your visas, you're now here in Australia illegally. Uh, we're going to take you, hold you in, uh, in the detention center. And uh, Serco. Um, when they arrived to take us to, uh, to Villawood, they got possession of our passports and our phones as well. And we didn't get our phones until we arrived at Villawood Detention Center. They put us in this place called airport. It's basically for people that have arrived that they've decided they're going to cancel their visas. And that had me a bit worried because I thought at some point they might actually want to send us back to Saudi Arabia. I mean, Saudi Arabia just killed Jamal Khashoggi in, you know, just the year before. And we're Saudi journalists. That would have been a disaster. Uh, we went through a lot trying to get out of Saudi Arabia to get here, you know, to a place where we thought, we're not going to go to jail for no reason. It's Australia. And uh, here we are, where we actually ended up spending two and a half months. I mean, I never, never, ever, ever thought that I'd end up seeing him in handcuffs, you know, in Australia. Entry screening needs to be rethought to prioritize those protection claims over the individual's removal from Australia, not only because it is Australia's international legal obligation to do so, but that's also the basis of the Australia's domestic protection framework is actually to identify people who may need protection and then to offer a process by which they can have those claims assessed. Entry screening is a punitive policy that emphasizes enforcement over protection, short circuits the existing legislative process, and puts people at unnecessary risk. <laughs>